Merry Christmas. I'm so glad you're here. Come on inside. Today is the day I'm gonna reveal everything to you in my house and how it's turned out for Christmas this year. Starting with the entryway. Right here on my table, I start off with a beautiful holy family scene in acrylic. I have my Wolford candles on either side and then my stupendous angel that I use every year in my home. But I actually put a candle behind her as well as running little tiny fairy lights in and among. So in the daytime, when I don't have my candles lit, it still looks beautiful. I purchased a new piece of art this year, this snowy scene with a deer in it. Over here, two of my very favorite deer that I've had for a long time, but I've used a lot of this kind of icy looking greens this year in my decorating, and you won't see anything flocked in here at all. You know what else I've used? I've used tons of pine cones. This is the year of the pine cones because I have a pine tree now, and they're, they're like manna from heaven. They just drop right onto my sidewalk for me as a gift. So I decorated with them. You'll see pine cones wound in and through my garlands. You'll also see holly and lots of berries. It is not a flocked year. What is it? It is the beginning of winter. The first snow. Just touches of snow and much more in the way of ice. A completely different look than many of the Christmases I've done. But you know what, it's really fun to change it up. So as you come in here, you see how this garland just wraps around this beautiful vintage post. And then it leads you right on up the staircase where it leads to another deer, a deer head, a drop of green Christmas balls in all different textures, a red velvet ribbon. You're also gonna see that it hugs one of my brand new sconces that I put in my home just for this year. In the past, I've struggled with what to do on this wall. There's a door here, which takes up most of the wall, but then there's an additional, I wanna say 24 inches of space. What do you put there? Well, I found this nine foot topiary tree this year, done a lot in the spruce and bottle brush, and it had pine cones in it, of which I added a bunch more. So it went with my theme, and I felt like it really filled this space nicely. And one last thing I wanna add, I have these flush mount fixtures. This is the smaller of the two, but you know what that is right there that's hanging from it? It's my Christmas accoutrement. I added it. These are acrylic, and I just wired them up to hang from the chandeliers just to add a little bit of touch of something special and definitely very Christmassy. Let's go into the living room first, shall we? you to notice these are not the lamps I usually have down here. Do you guys remember that typically I have these crystal based lamps? I brought down my brass lamps. Why did I do that? Well, I love the black shade and it happens to bring balance with the other side of the room which has a black piano which is so fabulous. But also I used my amazing reindeer right here. This reindeer is from Shinoda Design Center. You guys love this guy. But here's what I did. I took just part of the wreath that I had cut up last year and I heavily adorned it with berries. Again, the berries, the crystallized picks, rather than the snow, it just gives it that frosted forest look. And for the holiday season, I actually changed up the throws that I have on my vintage ladder. This is a rolling ladder. I think this thing is so great and I've had it for years and years. But I also added some special tassels that I made out of crystals off of a chandelier and uh, tassels here. And then I have the mink throws again a couple of times stays within my color palette, but it's definitely along the same lines as the theme of a frosted 
Ooh, wintry forest. I have these four chairs that I bought for my home and I absolutely love them. And I normally have them set up, they're almost four chairs facing each other. But because of what I did on the other side of these chairs, I needed extra room. That meant I needed to take my coffee table out and I needed to move my chairs in closer and straighten them up. And you know what? I think actually that that has created the most amazing first impression when you walk into this room because this row of chairs leads right to that amazing fireplace. But right here, this is what takes the show. How many of you have seen my broken mirrored Christmas tree DIY video? It was the second video that we uploaded this year during this season. And here she is. This is the tree that I made out of a piece of mirror that I broke up with a hammer. I had some friends helping me and we fashioned this tree and then we adorned it and bejeweled it with additional pieces of broken and crushed glass. So beautiful. Of course, putting a spotlight on it helped, but take a look at this. Since last Christmas, I've done a few things. Number one, I painted my fireplace around black. That ties in great with my black lampshades as well as my black piano. And it gave me the perfect place to create a massive, beautiful garland over my fireplace this year. I hope you're enjoying this. Do you like how my Christmas decorations turned out this year? I mean, it just feels intimate in here. We can enjoy this magical, dreamy fireplace. But look, this isn't snow. This is ice on here. It's a consequence of the very first snow falling of the season. Nothing is as magical as that. Would you like to see where we're gonna eat? Let's go. Please choose where you'd like to sit. I have a delicious dinner planned for tonight with red wine, white wine, and of course a glass, a goblet of water. A plate here for your salad. And then below that will be your dinner plate. I think this is gonna be a meal to remember. But while we're waiting between courses, I hope you feast your eyes on what I've prepared for you here. A frosted, winter, foresty, holiday meal with little pieces of ice, green balls and different textures, the pine garland pieces, all of this to remind you of the theme and the feel that you have while you're sitting here in the room where everything is happening and where the music is playing. The reigns, what do you think of this? This is a last minute purchase. I think I bought it last week and had it rushed here. Remember what used to be here was my horses and as much as I love my horses and actually my horse painting was part of the inspiration for my entire Christmas decorating last year. But over here, all of these jewel tones just sort of took away from the frosted forest look that I was going for. So I found this and I was like, you know what? I think that's perfect and especially perfect because what I haven't shown you yet is this. I painted my black wall into my green wall. I mean, come on, how cool is that? And it's such a great green. It's actually a green that matches the green Christmas trees that I'm gonna show you in just a minute. On top of that, I created pine cone clusters. This is a huge catalyst to why I used pine cones throughout my whole house this year. And touches of berries, all of these done, hung individually on these beautiful gold ribbons and then a topper at the top with another ribbon on top of that. Now, there is a video. We made a DIY video that went up about a month ago on how to create your own pine cone cluster. And I hope you get a chance and we'll go and watch that because you too could make something just like this. Remember how I talked about repeating a matter? Well, notice this. I've used gold and silver, silverware here, gold placemats. And what does that do? 
That ties in the gold right here on either side of my painting. And hence, the gold ribbon was the choice for my pine cones. But there's something else too. Remember the black? Notice this, black napkins. <gasps> now that's an unusual choice. I know, you'll have to see the video about it where I lay out four or five different napkin choices and this is the one I came up with. And the bottom line is this, black lampshade, black fireplace, black napkins, black piano. Follow me. Does this make a perfect backdrop for the dining table? Not only that, it provides us with beautiful music, Christmas music, actually any kind of music you want, but at Christmas time, oh my gosh, you guys, this music room is a dream. Again, super foresty with this these trees here, do you know I hand flocked these trees? I know, I have a special method. In fact, I have a video about it. You should go watch that one too. All on how to hand flock your tree the easy way. And did you notice too that I put garlands? You know how I'm talking about garlands and I always say, if you don't have a fireplace and you don't have a staircase, it doesn't mean you shouldn't watch the video because you can still do the same principles. You can apply it the same way on something like hanging a garland from the ceiling on the wall. And to that, I added all these icicles. Why, why icicles? Well, it is a frosted forest, right? But hello. I mean, at nighttime, these snowflakes are really pretty but in the daytime when the natural light hits them you really do feel like you're in you're on a vacation staying at a lodge and you're waiting for the first snow to come and once it does it looks like this now this particular icicle these are my favorites these were gifts from sarah last year and we actually hung those on screws because we didn't want them to fall. And not only does it add the gold, but it's reminiscent in the actual light fixture itself. All in all, bringing it together, are you feeling that magical, Christmassy, frosted winter forest? That was a mouthful, wasn't it? But are you feeling it? When you have little cutouts or alcoves in your home, you need to put something in them. So for Christmas, I just brought in a gold tree, some of the little fairy lights, and at nighttime, this is so much more prevalent, a beautiful silver reindeer, and then two of these matching stars. They are a combination of gold and silver sequins, but I took my books and I turned them around backwards so that you see nothing but the black and the white, and I know I'm going to get some hate comments for that. Why? Because every time I show this, I do. Isn't it funny how people are so serious and sensitive about books? Yeah. Can I pour you a drink? I have some very delicious cognac right here. On my little bar cart, I like to keep seasonal type drinks to serve to my guests. Oh, and of course I like to make music as I do it. But also I have some really, really beautiful candles. Even this one is a candle, although I keep the lid on. It looks like an ornament. All of this leads me into this room, my favorite room. And you know, last year at this time, my Christmas tree. Do you remember my Christmas tree? The theme was musical instruments and the colors were bold, jewel tones. They were strong and they imbued a melodious feel in my home. This year, I did something completely different, something I have never done before. And you know where it came from? It came from standing in this room and loving my arched window so much and thinking to myself, what am I gonna do next year? 
I'm going to create a tree, a tree that is airy and see-through, one that gives me the ability to appreciate all the natural light that comes in this room. I've never had a tree that is this open on the insides, but I've always loved them. So let me tell you, the colors on my tree this year are clear, green, there are some green balls, red balls, and a soft gold, just a gentle soft gold, and some little tiny silver touches in places, but that's it. The vast majority of the tree is about the icicles. And as you look at the tree, you will see more and more things to appreciate. One of my favorite elements, and again, something that I've never done before. And that is that I added this very faint tinsel. How many of you guys remember tinsel from what, the 70s, the 60s? When tinsel was a way a lot of people decorated their trees, and I've always said, I'm gonna do a tree with tinsel one of these days. Didn't know how I was going to accomplish something that I would still think was classy looking. And then I found this very thin tinsel. As you look in here, it is ethereal. That is the effect that it has created and I take it all the way up. So I invite you to look very closely. But here's the best part. I've saved the best part for last. I mean, if one is good, then why not do three? So you might be saying, Rebecca, your tree is so simple this year, but let me just tell you, when you take it from one tree to three trees, you take it from what was or could have been very simple and hmm, to something extraordinary. Riding along, just singing a song, and just so you know, my sunburst mirror did make it into the Christmas decorations this year. I tried it on a number of different locations, and you know what, I actually really like it against this industrial brick looking wall. I mean, this is so glamorous, and this is so rustic. It's a nice combination, don't you think? And this is a really great place to sit and just enjoy the trees. You know, last year my tree was in this room, and we actually, a family of, I think there were 11 of us, we all piled in here, and this is where we opened our gifts. And I'm sure we will do that again this year under all three trees. Yes. Okay, uh, so now I've shown you the formal parts of my house. Would you like to see the less formal parts? The family room and the kitchen? Okay, let's do that. So let's take a look at the room that I spend the majority of my time in. It is my family room. And then you'll have right, right? I just love the fact that my white sofas can go with any color scheme. That's always a great place to start. I don't really move much around here. I keep it as it is, but I change up the accessories. If you saw my video last year on how I did my Christmas in this room, you'll know that I didn't have window treatments at the time. So I was able to do garlands over the tops of the windows. In fact, that was kind of a theme that I was trying to create a faux window treatment effect with garlands. Well, this year I've got window treatments. Woohoo! I love my window treatments. So instead of keeping the two pieces of art up above the sofa in between these two windows, I decided to use two of my wreaths. I strung them with battery operated lights and then I ran a red velvet ribbon down the center with a beautiful bow on top. Last minute, I added this really cute little I guess it's a snowflake or it's an ornament of sorts. And I added those in the center of the two. Imagine that without that. Kind of boring, huh? I have a 
snowflake pillow that brings in all the neutral, natural wheat tones in the room. And then for a throw, I changed it up and I added a mink throw. It's not real. It's a faux mink throw. I bought this at Restoration Hardware, just so you know. And then I brought in my Shinoda White Polar Bear. Isn't this guy so cute? He's been in my home in different locations over the years. And by giving him a red ribbon bow around his neck, it brought balance here and brought your eye perfectly up to the red ribbon behind me. I've had this forever. This year I decided to put a reindeer on top and I brought the greens down. I used an actual garland and created almost a boa effect running down the ladder. You'll see here that that same green that's in the wreath is used throughout here. It is repeated along with other greens, but just adding a little bit of that ties those two pieces together. And as I've already pointed out, this is not only the year of the frosty forest, but it is the year of holly and berries. Then we lead down to the bottom where the boa garland actually touches the floor and it leads down here to the three lanterns I bought last year at Home Goods, And I added just a little touch of greens with, of course, pine cones and berries. I went very low key in my accessorizing at my coffee table. And the reason for that is, I love doing jigsaw puzzles. Now this one actually has a thousand pieces, but I have it rolled up so that you can unroll it later. But here are a few of the pieces just laid out because it looks pretty. But trust me, this is gonna be a spot. I can sit here and watch television. I can watch, well I can't really watch anyone cooking in there in the kitchen for me because I'm here by myself. But if I had a partner, I could watch them cooking and I could be putting together my puzzle. And guess what? It would be done in time for Christmas. And look, I've got my little soldier here who plays his musical instrument. This was a gift from my friend Sarah, and I still love that thing. I think that's super cute. But I also added a sprig of the greens here, again, to tie that in from the other pieces in the room. So because my television is here, I don't want to block the view of it. So I chose to use acrylic accessory pieces, this beautiful tree, my reindeer, and then a grouping of three trees over on this side. And that frames that area so beautifully, but it doesn't distract you from being able to see the TV. And then on top, is that so cute? Is that the cutest thing ever? I bought that at the Restoration Hardware Outlet Store and they had this little twinkle sign, super cute. So I put that on top and then you'll see where it had the eye. It looked so similar to me in the way it was looped that I added a little gold ball right on top just to add a little bit of twinkle. I brought my topiary trees in that we actually refurbished last Christmas. They were in such terrible shape, but guess what we added? Not only new lights, but look at this. This is that green I'm talking about. It's exactly the same green that is in the wreath and on the garland on the ladder display. I put them directly in the center of my windows, which gives me a beautiful symmetrical look. My floor lamps are beyond that, so the room, the wall, feels wider, bigger, and the window treatments just perfectly line either side of those windows. And look how pretty this is. This again is from my friend Sarah in Wisconsin. Is that just so beautiful? And over here on my stacking table, you're greeted with a sweet little Santa. But look behind me. I did bring in a really cool piece of art this year. I've actually had this. It was in my home before, but I thought it's perfect right here. But do you see what I see? Are you noticing the connection with this side of the room and that side? Yes, 
the same red ribbon created in the same fashion with the bow on top and the tail at the bottom with the fish tail goes through that piece of art and just connects this decoration to the one across the room. It also gives a little touch of red and it happens to stand by huh, perhaps maybe my favorite wall lamp, floor lamp of all time. Now I gotta say, it was a little more fun for me this year to do something in my kitchen and you may be wondering why this year, not last year. Well, I just recently redid my kitchen. It's a, it was a small facelift. It wasn't a, a full facelift, get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, you know, getting your brows done and your lips injected. Last year I had a bar cart right here. It was in front of my vintage window and it was cute. But this year when I redid my kitchen, I also added a desk. So now there's another surface here to put more things on and to actually be functional and usable. I actually had two of these like pine trees, but they were the same exact height. And when you put two together, it's great if you're doing symmetry, but if you're doing a grouping, two at the same height just doesn't look as good. So what I did is I brought in a glass, uh, oh, well I just lost a berry. Anyway, it's a glass bowl and uh, turned it upside down. And then I used that sticky tack that you use to keep your pictures from moving. And that's how I keep it affixed to that. We added a few little berries to it and then wrapped some fairy lights in. But look at this. This is how I sort of camouflage that glass bowl by using a little bit of that same green garland that you see in my topiaries, my wreaths, and on the garland. Do you see how all those things are connecting? So here's something that's so uh, super new. I didn't do it all last year. Last year I had a small garland over my window, very wispy. This year I decided to add garland to the tops of my cabinets all the way around. Now that, by the way, is how you deal with the fact that your cabinets don't go to the ceiling. Make lemonade out of lemons, you know what I'm saying? You can do something to make it look amazing with its flaw of not going to the ceiling. I like to put some Christmas candies. Oh, these are so good. I had, I was gonna have like five last night before I went to bed. No, I think I had 25. Oh my gosh. I'm lucky to fit in this skirt today. One of the things we did was we made friendship tea and the recipe will be in the description box below. I like to put cheese in here, but for now, we just have a cute little gold Christmas tree. This is actually a placemat. And then I have these huge acrylic snowflakes. So I thought, okay, I'll cover up that outlet and I'll put a little snowflake over it, get it right in the center. And I think that's super cute. This is an actual real, guys, you know, you go into a model home and you'll see fake food. It looks really good. This is not fake. This is a real homemade cherry pie. And I can tell you this, the moment that camera goes off, I'm gonna have some of this because I've been waiting for a couple of days <laughs> to eat this pie. This has a little string of lights running through it, but look at it, the same green. You see how there's just a connection? But there's something else I wanna show you here that's really special to me. It is my vintage angel painting. I had a friend, I wanna say 25 years ago, she painted that for me on a piece of wood that was off of a vintage vanity drawer. Look, at, and it even has little purses now, I don't really remember what the significance was for purses at the time. Maybe it's just that I'm always into purses. It could be that, I don't know, but super cute. And then this sign that I love, wise men still seek him. Joseph and Mary traveled to Bethlehem where baby Jesus was born in a manger because there was no room in the inn. And the wise men came from near and far bringing gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Oh, 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 oh. This 
was actually my mother's nativity scene, and when she passed away, I was able to choose some things that I wanted to have, and I chose this, and I just love it. It's something that I looked at for years of my life, and now it's in my home. So what I decided to do was create a special nativity thing with different levels here. What you don't see is underneath are four by fours that lift up this backdrop, the wise men and this whole manger scene. And then I covered it in that brown velvet, those Ikea curtains, I swear. I mean, how many times have I used the Ikea curtains? in my Christmas decorating in one fashion or another. It's either under a tree or under baby Jesus. Gloria. And I think putting that with the backdrop of my beautiful painting in here, you'll even see that my new bar stools actually go great with the entire look of the manger scene. Would you like to come into my bedroom? Come on. And here she is, a tribute to Queen Elizabeth. I felt like this year would be a perfect year to bring out what I used to call my Cinderella tree and turn her into something more regal, something absolutely dreamy. And look, I think we accomplished that. this room, I didn't follow my icy rule. I actually went with the snow and the flocking. I used picks to fluff out her skirt and make it more big, as well as laying it out on the floor, almost as though she has a train all the way around her. By using white velvet ribbon, I was able to put then her necklace on top of that, again, giving her that very regal look. And then I think what really carries it off are these beautiful, beautiful picks that look like fern leaves, but each one of them is bejeweled in rhinestones. As I drift off to sleep at night, the last thing out of my mouth is, Alexa, turn off Christmas. By the same token, when I wake up in the morning and it's still dark outside, I say, Alexa, turn on Christmas. And there she is. I started this room with the tree, and once the tree was done, it was very, very simple for me to follow through with all of the shelves in my built-ins here across the top, around the shutters, and all the way around here. And what you're gonna see is that my built-in is very symmetrical, the way it's built, number one, but the way I designed it and decorated the inside. I typically have a desk sitting here. Remember the new dining table downstairs? That was my desk, so I moved it down for Christmas. I wonder also if those of you who have built-ins or bookcases of any sort and you decorate them for the holidays, do you ever stop to think that you can remove the shelves for whatever it is you're gonna put in here? Typically, I have shelves in here and I have all these decorations on them, but I wanted to put these super tall crystal trees and I have two, on e one on either side and I just put my shelves up as high as I wanted to. And then I do my design, non-design thing of filling in with books turned around to the back side. A couple of pine cones here that are covered in snow, an absolutely beautiful gold finial ornament. And then on the sides here, I have these jars. And this jar here is full of crystals. Then I walk down to this side. I just have some books stacked here. A beautiful, one of my favorite ornaments I bought the year Shara got married. Isn't that just so beautiful? And just sit her on top. 
I kept these very open and very simple because I don't want to take away from the Queen Elizabeth tree, which I think is stunning. Up here I have two lanterns and what I did, I haven't done this before, I mixed, I have a set in silver and I have a set in gold. So because I wanted to do both sides of the room, I chose the larger gold, the smaller silver, and then you'll see on the other side I did the same thing. But the shelf height for this needs to be pretty tall for this to fit in and you'll see on the other side the shelf height is shorter because I used a shorter set of lanterns. As we come around here, I was beyond delighted when my girlfriend from Le Demore sent me these trees and they have, they're green just like the tree. They look so much like the tree I couldn't believe it. The height was perfect and it's adorned with pearls. And I don't think she even knew I had pearls running in my tree, but she sent me two, which was perfect to put on either side of the bookcase. I had these angels, I have two of them, so there's one on either side. Like I said, it's very symmetrical. These angels are both gold and silver and white, which was perfect for my color scheme in here. But they weren't tall enough. So I took them off of their base and I bought a cube of green styrofoam. You see that? I wrapped this marabou feather. It's just like a, a strand, it's probably six feet long, and covered the styrofoam with that. And it gives her sort of a, I don't know, a heavenly effect with this. She looks like she's just floating on the clouds. If you stand back and you look from a distance, you're gonna see that these two sides mirror each other. Not perfectly, but close enough to give you a very symmetrical look. As this room came together, I so desperately wanted a crown. I didn't know where to find a crown. So I decided maybe I could make a crowning effect, so to speak. So on my shutters up here, I hung additional brooches and they are Christmas decorations and you can get these at Shinoda. One on either side that really picks up the light. I brought two strands of crystals up, two strands of crystals down, and in the center, I hung a snowflake that is both acrylic and has a rhinestone effect to it. But on the top, I glued one of my jeweled, bejeweled snowflakes just to make it sparkle a little bit more. In the very end, I topped this whole bookcase off with the same thing as this. These are those feathers. And I got these at Shinoda. I ran the feathers all the way across the top of my built-in. What's really unique about this and what makes it so effective is that this built-in already had lights up in that area. So I didn't even have to light it, it's already lit. And then those feathers just give such an ethereal effect. You will see things like birds that happen to be sitting up and nesting. And they're all different types of white birds that I've collected over the years in my Christmas decorations. And I was able to use them here. How lucky am I to have a real working fireplace in my bedroom? Right now, I just have like a Duraflame log in there and it gives me the warmth and the glow. And I just love to come up here at night, sit in my chair, look at the tree, have a glass of wine, read a book, listen to an audible book, which I love to do. But right here at the fireplace, this is the sunburst mirror that I've had over the fireplace for a very long time and I kept it there. It's so perfect for my theme. Then I added a flocked garland across the top then I went in and I took these picks that I have that have leaves that are just like the ones on the dining table, only these are gold and they look very snowy. I added little touches of balls, little ornaments here and there, even like something that's more of a mercury, uh, mercury glass type ball that gives the gold and the silver. And then if you look close, it gets a little lost in here, but take a look at that. Hmm, now that's fancy. On either side, I have these great trees that are like frosted glass and gold. 
and then another one of my acrylic reindeer. Lights are run through it and voila, I have like the perfect fireplace setting. I will tell you another option for a fireplace like this is to use something like my Wolford candles, the glass, the clear glass ones with the oil in it. And we went ahead and, and put it together that way as well so you could see what that option looks like. And I think that in and of itself is pretty dreamy. Say this tree is one of my favorite new finds for this year. I just think this thing is so amazing. I think we'll put links in the description box below for some of these things where you can find them. It is actually metal and it is embossed with big rhinestones creating such a beautiful pattern and again so regal. You're probably asking yourself, uh, Rebecca you said you were going to show us your bedroom. Where's the bed? Um, that's a really good question because right now you don't see a bed anywhere, do you? Well, there is one. Let me show you. You ready to see? Because it's pretty beautiful. <laughs> no, they didn't get fixed. <laughs> nice effect, right? Dun, da, da, da. Uh. definitely do love my bedroom. I love it year round, but right now for the holidays, I think I came up with some pretty clever ways to bring Christmas not only from the retreat, but also into this room. So let me walk through and show you some of the things I did. I found this incredible lamb's wool bench, and this thing is so fluffy and luxurious looking, perfect for a queen. Its legs are made of acrylic, and these are actually reindeer's hooves. Not kidding. <sighs> then I added one of my Shinoda Santas here and a pre-wrapped package. But I want you to know, I actually looked all over Tulsa for some glamorous bed, you know, bedding, not necessarily the comforter, I love my comforter, but pillows and some stuff I could put at the, at the head of the bed. And I couldn't find anything anywhere. And there wasn't enough time to order something. And that kind of stuff is really expensive. So I finally, like just what, four or five days ago said, you know what, I'm gonna go and make my own pillows. As if I don't have enough to do already. As if I wasn't crazy busy getting ready to film all of this. But here's what I did, come take a look. I am so excited to share with you what I did here because it is such a hot mess idea, <laughs> but it turned out great. All right, I wanted some sort of like a sequiny, you know, rhinestone thing to match the look of the tree in there. And you know what I thought about? Last year, Sarah brought, when she came to help me do my house, she brought two of the most beautiful tree skirts I'd ever seen. We ended up not using them last year, and of course I have three trees this year, so I didn't use them, but one was silver and one was gold. I actually used it here on my bed to look like part of the coverlet. The silver one is on the bottom, the gold one on the top. Then, what did I do for pillows? So I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought some sequin fabric. I was going to sew them, but at the last minute I decided, I'm just gonna hot glue them, you know? I mean, this is just for Christmas, right? It's for looks. I don't have to take these on and off the bed all the time, and it's only for a short amount of time. So I took them and that's what these are. These are pillows that I had and I just covered over them and hot glued them and made these and I think they look amazing. And then this one in the center is a gray velvet pillow that used to be in my family room when, you know, during the year round time. And this right here is a table runner that I bought from Pier 1 Imports a number of years ago and I had cut it in half. There's like a reindeer on one end and a reindeer on the other end. Let me show you, I took it and I sewed it across the bottom here, and then I sewed it across the bottom here. It doesn't even go all the way around, but look at that. And that brings in my silver and my gold so perfectly, and I love the addition of the velvet. Here's what else I did. 
I traded my lamps. Remember how I showed you down in the living room my brass lamps with the black lampshades? Well, those used to be on either side of my bed. Well, now I changed them out for the ones that were in the living room, put them up here. They have the acrylic base that it matches the acrylic up here and the acrylic on the legs and all of the crystal and shiny things that go on in that room in there, my retreat. It's a wrap. This concludes my video today of the walkthrough of my house for my Christmas decorations this year. I hope that you have enjoyed this and that you've gotten some great ideas that maybe you can use in your own home. I personally love every room, but this bedroom master retreat, uh, isn't it dreamy? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm very blessed. Well, it's been a lot of work and it's taken me some time to put all this together for you, but I do it so that you can get ideas of things you can do in your own home. Do I expect you to do all of these things? No, do what you can. If you're not a subscriber, would you consider subscribing, joining our tribe? We have such a good time around here. And of course, when the new videos go up, if you hit that notification button, you should be notified that a new video has gone up on the Ken Woven channel. Just know too, that as I walked you through the house, I talked about all the different videos. Did I mention I actually have a video specifically on how I put this tree together? You might wanna check that one out. All right, you guys, I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas. Remember to leave a thumbs up on this video and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you and I will respond to as many as I possibly can. I wanna wish you and your family the best holiday ever, and may it be absolutely dreamy, magical, and beautiful. All right, we're out. See you next time. Oh, I have been waiting for you for a couple of days. Mm. Worth the wait. So let me show you some. I got it. No, I didn't. I'm not gonna pat it. I had to kill it. That's. He already got me. Those mosquitoes. I moved to the wrong state. At least as the bugs are concerned. Okay, I feel a mosquito on my leg. Oh, I'm so mad. Okay, sorry.